and welcome back to another lippy review. So today we're doing another one of the Body Shop's lip juicers. Yes, I finally remembered to come back to these. And this one is the Raspberry Ginger Beetroot one, which sounds super interesting. I'm not sure how tinted this one will be. Um, I suppose we'll find out. I mean, I imagine it'll be similar to that other one. Ooh. Okay, alright, so we're gonna come back to that. But yeah, so format-wise, it's in like a a cone. Come on, Jen. You know shapes. It is in a cone format as opposed to the dome type lip balms that EOS is made in. So they're kind of unique in this way. They're like the same shape as Balmy, uh, which is that even still a thing or did they get discontinued? Because I literally never hear about Balmy anymore and they used to like be the shit with UK lip balms. Let me know if you know, because I feel like maybe they went under, that's why I don't hear about them anymore. I literally never hear anyone mention them. So that would make me sad, because I was just finally starting to get to where I could acquire them, and then they disappeared. <laughs> but anyway, so, packaging-wise, it kind of almost looks like the tip of a crayon or something. <laughs> like a really big, fat crayon. Which, I mean, since they're tinted, I suppose you kind of could. It, it's wax. It's colored. Uh, it's the crayon comparison is not wrong. Price point wise, these little suckers are 10 bucks a pop. Yeah. Yeah, it's like that. It's crazy. I don't know why they're so expensive. I mean, I know they're, they're like organic, but like for real, that is really steep even for that. Like, let's be real. It's like four grams or point one ounces. So that's like wouldn't that be less than what's in a stick by a little? Am I crazy? I'm pretty sure I'm right, because I think it's like 0.15 for a stick, so 0.10 would be less. Yeah, or am I going the wrong direction? I don't fucking know. But anyways, so, seems like a lot for that, but that's just me. I'm sure a lot of it's the packaging. It's kind of hefty, but um, yeah, it's not part of a set, but it is part of a line of several of these that they make. Uh, it's not medicated, no SPF. Let's see how tinted it is, though. Oh, almost dropped the dang thing. It definitely has less color than the last one, but I mean, it is tinted. There is some color there. It's almost like a blush. I mean, I suppose if you wanted to, I mean, if you really were hard up and wanted to, you, you could use it as like a cream blusher, but I wouldn't recommend it. But um, I'm going to go ahead and put it on see if it shows up. But yeah, because of that pointed tip shape, it does make it a little gawky to kind of maneuver, but you learn. You learn to manage it and to mitigate it. I am liking how it's showing up, though. It's showing up more than I thought it would. It's really pretty. But because the waxy feel, it literally does feel like you are coloring your lips with an actual crayon. Straight up. So. It's very, very thin and lightweight, though. So, I mean, it's got that going for it, but I mean, that waxiness, though, it's, hmm, hmm, <laughs> yeah, uh, it, it's very sticky, fair warning. Very sticky lip balm. I'm not about that stickiness, but I mean, I'm trying to use these up, so I don't want it to go bad. But, um, yeah, it's an awkward sensation, not gonna lie. But, um, it's very pretty, though. I like that about it. And if you want, like, a more matte tinted lip balm, that's a good option, because, I mean, you can see there's not really a shine on this. Um, oh, yeah, I was gonna come back to that scent. I will in a second. Let's see if it's flavored, though. No. No, it is not. Okay. Well, now that we established that, <laughs> uh, let's try the sniffer again. So this is raspberry ginger beetroot. It's like hella lightly scented. So trying to like get the scent notes out of it, it's hard. Because <laughs> I think like the last one was actually a lot more fragrant than this. So I'm like, oh, this is like really, really light. 
I wonder if it's like the more I use it, it'll get more fragrant. I don't know. But so far, I get the ginger and like the tiniest bit of the beetroot. I was going to say a tiny bit of raspberry, but no, I'm almost positive that's the beetroot. I'm not sure that the raspberry is really shining through. If it is, it's like barely. It's more the ginger than anything, which I mean, if you like ginger, that's cool. But if you're not a big fan, you might not like it. I, I like ginger, so I have no problem there, but I'm just pointing it out. Um, yeah, it's like crazy light. I was expecting it to be more fragrant. A little disappointed. So, I'm sure it will transfer, but we will do the kiss test. Well, I mean, it's so light to start with, it's not much of the transfer, but there is one there. So, I mean, I suppose on, like, what you're doing may or may not matter. I don't know, but, um, anyways. Hmm. I'm gonna go ahead and do the dream test, see how it holds up. Surprisingly, it doesn't even really come off on the mug. So I'm like, oh, okay. Well, for its waxy-ass nature, it stays put. It's got that going for it, so it's got the longevity card. I mean, does this one really well me? If I'm being honest, it doesn't. I like the color. I really do. That's about where the compliments stop, unfortunately. But, um, because that waxy stickiness is just, it's not an appealing feeling. It's really expensive for what it is and how little you're getting at the end of the day. It just, I don't know. I don't know. I'm trying to think of what I'll rate it, but like, price point. That is a big strike against it. That super light scent. It should have had more, in my opinion. Um, the texture. That just, it's off-putting. No wow factor, um... I definitely don't see how this one would help to hydrate your lips at all. I, I think at best it might maybe help with, like, windburn to, like, prevent it, but I don't see this actively helping. If anything, I could see this possibly drying out your lips, because it kind of feels like one of those, but, um... Yeah, I think I'm going to give this a 5.5 out of 10. I'm just not that wowed by it. I am very disappointed for how long I've waited to open that one. I am very disappointed, I have to admit. But, them's the breaks. That's how it goes sometimes. So, anyways, that is it for this one, guys. So, as usual, you know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you'd like to be, click subscribe. Hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload. Leave comments down below. Make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more. It's all down below. If you like what I do here on this channel and you'd like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Get your name on the end card for a month from the time of donating. Anyway, guys, till next time.